Nexus Sync. You either love it. Oh yeah, baby. Stamkos, one knee, one timers. That's the way it is. Gotta love this stick. Stick is the best. Sync is my favorite. Moving forward, it's gonna be my gamer all day. Sync. Or you hate it. Oh my god, what kind of shot was that? God, this stick sucks. It's gotta be the five sides. I can't stand it. I'm done with it. I'm putting it down. Back to the TMP Pro. Screw the sync. Oh, right, one timers. The sync rules. Stick for life. Sync all day. Easy work. And there it is, guys. The love hate relationship with the sync. And it's showing up on the stick tier list in the top five. And it's one of the better stick releases of the last year. What's going on guys? Justin, AKA Boomer Beer League Bum Hockey Reviews. And today we are talking Nexus Sync. Now this has been a highly, highly requested video across all platforms on social media and lots of hockey influencers. And I must say, I'm the only one that's going to bring the real deal. So stick around. We're going to chat about it. We're going to talk about where it falls in my stick tier list, which nobody else does. I'm going to talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, and what I recommend for the current Nexus Sync and how it did for me in all my games and everything that I've done with it. So let's hit it. All right. I'm a little bit more impressed here on the Sync today in terms of weight. We got 379, which is actually pretty good because usually the marketing jargon doesn't actually work very well. So that's pretty good. So, and then that's also taking into consideration that Bauer wants you to cut this down. They got the 79 to the 87 there, which is something I'm gonna look into in this video. But yeah, so that's pretty good. Uh, full length, 62 inches at 379. It's pretty good weight. Hopefully it holds up durability wise. All right guys, something that we're gonna test here with the Bauer Nexus Sync is this 79 and 87 flex. Uh, I have an 87 flex, so I honestly don't really understand what Bauer is going for here. You buy an 87 flex, but it's only an 87 flex if you cut it down basically two inches. It's a, it's a little bit odd, so I don't know. We're gonna test it out. So I'm going to run this stick for the first couple games at the supposed 79 flex. Now, if you've seen my videos, you know that I'm not a huge fan of that, but I'll leave it for now. So I'm going to run this at 79 flex full length. Then I'm going to cut it down to it's actually 87 and then run some games as well. And then go do and finish it up at actual ice time with this for full on testing of the Nexus sync. So I can get a really good idea of not only the stick, but this kind of new feature of 87 flex, but it's actually a 79 full length. So kind of an interesting thing by Bauer. I'm not really sure why they're doing that, but it is what it is. So that's something that we're gonna test. So we're starting full length. Okay, so I just finished up the first game with the Bauer sync, full length, uh, apparently 79 flex, uh, which is right there on the end there. So 79 and then the 87 there, uh, full two inches down. Uh, initial impressions are the stick is too long, so I can't use this at the full length. I'm not tall enough, so I'm only 5'9". So uh, I'll be cutting this down to the 87 flex that it has, and I'll of course vlog the next uh, feeling of how I feel about the actual 87 versus 79 in a full length sink. Initial impressions, first game, I used it for about half, and then it just, it was too long. But in the warm-up, I really like the release, and I really like the feel of the stick. Uh, they've really toned down the corners, in my opinion. Uh, I know that they did something with the shaft, so it's just a little bit easier in the hands. And when it's sitting in the hands, it's not as noticeable as the Geo for some reason. Um, and But looking at the store and comparing it, it still seems as pronounced, but it just feels better in the hand. I really like the blade, just first initial impression. It's got like a crack to it and a really interesting feel, and that's probably that rubber layer, but when you shoot the puck, it like cracks, almost like a softball bat. It's really interesting stuff, so initial impressions are really good. Let's cut this thing down and hit up game two.
So what do I mean you either love the Nexus Sync or you hate it? Unfortunately, that this ER Spine Tech has been on four different sticks, and that goes from Nexus ADV, Bower Sling, Geo, and now the Sync. And you either really love it or you hate it. And unfortunately, I do hate it. It is not my style of play. However, that does not mean I cannot make objective reviews of this stick if I were to enjoy the actual ER Spine Tech. Now, I don't, and there's a number of reasons for that. So the first reason is because I find that when I'm shooting, you either have it in the one part on this side, or you have it in the other side. And I find that instead of resting square like you would on the regular side of the shaft or a regular hockey stick, I find that I find my palm is sitting on either one of the sides of the ER spine. So therefore my blade is either in or out. And I find that's why I struggle shooting. Now, if you love the ER spine, you'll say that it sits in your hand really nicely and you enjoy that aspect of the stick. So for me personally, the only thing I'm gonna say is that you will either love this or hate it. And if you use the Geo or you use the Sling or use the ADV and you do enjoy, the ER spine, you will love the sync. So that's just something to keep in mind when it comes to the ER spine. I really do wish that Bauer maybe took this and did something else with it and maybe put a break in here or something so that your hand would sit normally, but instead they did not do that. My biggest gripe with most Bauer sticks lately and those who watch my videos will know is that I find that they don't change their tech enough or push any limits or try something new. And when they do, it's a total flop instead of testing it properly, AKA Bauer Sling. But when it comes to the Nexus Geo, you'll see in this progress here that they did actually try it. It's just they've kind of overused the ER spine at this point. However, the Nexus series very much stayed the same up until the release of the ER spine. So that's kind of what they're going with right now. And unfortunately, like I said, if you love it, you love it. But if you hate it, you don't. So unfortunately, it's not going to be my gamer. However, that doesn't mean that this stick did not bring it in many of the categories. Unlike the 1X line and the Vapors that I'll put up right here, and of course the Supremes that I'll put up right here, tech really has not changed much, and when it does, it's a big flop. So the Geo worked. A lot of people liked the Geo, and eventually they were just like, you know what, let's not tweak it because it's probably working, and a lot of people like it. So that's where we're at with the Nexus Sync, and a lot of people are enjoying this stick. So let's get in just overall ratings, and of course my thoughts. The sync really excels at this style of shot and you can hear the crack with the blade with that new kind of rubber core to it. Really interesting. Have another listen. Can hear it on the camera of the live barn from basically the stand. So really interesting. It's something that actually really helps with puck, puck feel in my opinion and is one of the improvements over the Geo. So at the beginning of the video, I talked about the flex change where this was a much longer stick. I think it's, I think it could be more than 62. I actually should have looked that up. I'll put it up on the screen and do the research after the video. So I cut a fair bit off of my sink somewhere around there. Um, and they were saying that this was at a 79 flex, uh, even though it says 85. And I tested that, and I must say, guys, I really didn't notice any difference when I cut off the couple inches that brought me down. This still felt like an 80-ish flex stick. The couple inches that are there, I'm a huge advocate that says that if it's built for a stiffness of a certain way, you're generally not gonna get away from the feeling of the stick like that. So if this is an 87 flex in terms of build, stiffness, materials, you know, all that jazz, it's gonna feel like an 80 flex stick. So when I had it at full length, it felt just the same as when I cut it down. So I used this thing for a number of games going actually back to back in the games with the Hazardous PX and the Sync because I just wanted to kind of get a really good feel for how each of those sticks was working. And of course I kept gravitating back to the Nexus Sync because my review of the PX, the Hazardous was just terrible. It was just not a great stick. This stick, just like the Geo, is a jack of all trades Nexus stick. It does everything well and nothing quite extraordinary. And you know what, that for a stick right now 
is really the best of both worlds. That's like honestly all you could ask for because it has good durability. It has really decent shot power. It has a decent release and it has a really nice weight to it. So you can't complain that this is what Bauer brought to the stage because honestly, it's a nice upgrade on the Geo, but kept everything that was great about the Geo, except the ER spine. But again, that's just something that we have to live with if you like this style of stick. So with the sync, I had a number of really good games and I had a couple of bad shifts and I had a couple of bad shots, depending on kind of how my palm sat on the ER spine. But overall, I got a really good feel for this stick and I did put it through the ringer. So we're gonna go over the individual shot ratings, etc. But first, as you can see on my stick tier list here, is it sits right above the uh, Geo because it is a really nice upgrade just all around with a slight reduction in weight. There is a slight change to the ER spine. It just feels a little bit better than the Geo. I picked both up at the store. There's a slight difference. And I really actually enjoyed the blade. It has a really cool crack to it and has really nice puck feel. So overall, it is a very slight upgrade on the Geo, but it isn't quite there in terms of mid kicks like my TMP Pro, which is my current gamer. Just used this stick again last night after I finished up with my sink and it's just not quite there, but overall it's a really great stick. So let's talk shooting. With the sink, it is a really good shooter stick. Um, it has really nice recoil and really nice kick, and it is very nice and easy to load. Its shot power is just a little bit dialed back in terms of what you can get from it. I think mostly from the ER spine and its inability to be able to hold exactly square all the time on shooting. So it's a little bit inconsistent in that regard, in my opinion, but again, you know, subjectively. So from my thoughts, the Geo does have a decent shot. It's in the 3.5 range out of five. Great overall feel, great shooting, but not quite the top end power of the Jet Speeds or the current TMP Pro or the LX Pro. Couple shots here, not quite as good as the top end sticks like LX Pro FT4, but it's definitely up there in terms of shot power. So release, now with the sync, uh, I'm rating the release at a 3.5 out of 5. Again, it's not quite there in terms of the TM Pro, uh, TMP Pro, sorry, and the FT4 and the LX Pro, etc. But that's mostly because the release does not quite have that level of recoil. But we'll get to the reason why here shortly um, at the end. But overall, it has a really nice, smooth, effortless release. It's just the recoil's not quite there in terms of what you get in terms of speed and how much puck velocity comes off with that release. So the re release on this is 3.5 out of five. All right, now with any stick, again, this is kind of where my stick ratings come in, is what exactly does the sync excel at? And then what is it kind of not lacking, but has to dial back to get to there? And that's where we're at for feel, weight, and balance. As you can see here, the weight is actually really nice. And of course, once you cut it down, it's gonna be even nicer. Balance is amazing. And the feel on the blade is excellent. I love the crack that it has. You know, when I first picked it up and started taking some shots, it had this crazy crack to it. So you knew where the puck was and you knew you got a piece of it. It felt really, really good in that regard. So you can't argue with how this thing feels and the way it kills it. So from feel, weight, and balance, it's going to have a five out of five. You will love how it feels just stick handling, holding it, you know, playing with it in your hands. You know, the ER spine, again, I'm gonna be objective here. I don't like how that feels, but we're gonna take it out and just talk about the feel, weight, and balance in terms of the overall stick and not just that piece of technology. And now where the sync excels, surprisingly, but it did have to dial back the shot power and release again, in my opinion, is it is quite a durable stick. I put it through the ringer, I always do. Unfortunately, I didn't get out and do an individual ice time with this sink, so instead, at warm up, I put it through its durability testing, just doing boomer clappers every game that I did it, and I played about six games with the sink. So if it lasts, because I've done that before with the FT4s, the FT5, uh, the FT3, the Trigger 5, and any stick in the past that had durability issues, 
they do not last that boomer testing. So this stick, I'm gonna give a 4.5 out of five in terms of durability. And the reason that it loses a little bit is after all that testing, um, I do have a tiny little rattle of some glue and stuff coming loose that I can hear. However, that's a lot of shots that this thing will last. Nobody puts things through the ringer like I do. Most people do not put these types of sticks through that kind of torture to test durability, which is really the biggest thing what you wanna know when you're buying a $370 stick. So where does that leave us? The final thoughts. So the final thoughts on this stick is it's right up there in the stick tier list. 16.5 out of 20, very high rated stick. My only gripe with it, of course, is the ER spine. I really hope Bauer maybe can tweak this a little bit in the future and try and mess around with it a little bit to maybe get it a little less pronounced. Maybe it can be in concaved, I'm not sure, but it'd be nice to see the next generation of stick not have this because now we're talking four sticks with this technology. Although this one is definitely the best of the bunch no sling needed. Thanks for watching guys. I definitely recommend the stick overall. I just hope you're the guy that likes the ER spine. Beer League Bum Hockey Reviews, Bauer Nexus Sync. See you next time.